He's been having a great camp, and they're going to see if he can do it in the game type situation, Andrew. He had that ugly leg injury against the Bears in that Monday night win, but Burgess is back on the field tonight wearing number 26. Nathan Peterman needs to get the Raiders to the 35. Peterman to throw. Oh, Peterman almost picked off. Juju Hughes got a hand on it. Fourth down. Rams debut. Gain a one for Funk. Now out of the shotgun. Gets the snap to his right and hands to Funk again. Who's got good push, good drive. Couple of yards to set up what should be third and around five. Need to get to the 18. Perkins. Koski drilled. Nate Hobbs. Great play there by Nate Hobbs. Uh, Nathan Peterman's second Vegas drive from the now Rams 32. And they'll keep it on the ground with B.J. Emmons here on first down. The wrong button on his belt. And on that opening drive, that long charger 20 play drive as Peterman scrambles and gets popped by Micah Kaiser. And Ernest Jones, it gets close to 10 yards. Trey Regis. Out of an eye, Trey Regis is into the end zone this time. Trying to settle into a job as a wide receiver in a complex offense. Jake Funk, another rookie. Look at his power, Jake Funk. A lot of spots open on his O-line. Uh, I think Sean has his top six guys, but they still need depth on his O-line. Second and 18 and almost intercepted. Javen White. One of the Raiders linebackers who John Gruden wants a lot from tonight. Broken arm, so he is out a while as well. They're going to have a tough roster decision with him at cut down. Third and 18. Perkins will run. Perkins has the 40. Perkins. Here we go. With Peterman to throw. Peterman complete. That's one of the familiar faces that we're seeing on defense along with Jarrell Burgess and Micah Kaiser here. Here's a eventually a starter at one of the two guard spots and you have, at least early, Alex Leatherwood, first round pick number 70. And there you have a play blown up. Along with the keep to leave by Andrew Siciliano, Rams go five wide on first and 15. Bryce Perkins will throw to the outside. That is a catch by. They rotated, but while he was in, I think he did a great job running the show. Third and four, run of the show here. Hits Koski, who sits down on the third. And now Funk goes up tight to the line. One of the play clock, little confusion. They get it off. Here comes the rush. Perkins gets out of it. Bryce Perkins, eyes downfield, directing traffic. Now throw! Took Geno Smith's heads off in Seattle. Smith had to leave the game briefly, then come back in. Again, it's Nate Hobbs blitzing. Perkins escaped. Here's DJ Turner on the return. Turner with room to run, and he gets out across the 35 near the 40. Before We ain't have a team growing up, so for me now, it's, it's perfect. Man. It's the perfect situation. You talked honestly about your relationship with Sean McVay and how awesome that was. Well, for me, man, it's, it's a great situation, man. Coming into a room like this, you have, you know, two uh, receivers that's been established in this offense for a long time, been doing a lot of positive things uh, as far as Coop and Robert. Got it to Koski. And here we go, the second and eight. And Jones out of the backfield. Jones was a very good receiver in college. First and goal inside the 10. Perkins looking, lofting, back of the end zone. That is a touchdown. Kendall Blanton. Loss of six. Chris Garrett, seventh round pick. One of the best FCS pass rushers in college football history. Best, the most for any receiver in the NFL last week in the preseason. Peterman again, brought down. And he's showing some promise here early. Garrett again. Balls out. Raiders look. Try to cement his job as the second center behind Ryan Allen. Bobby Evans in a right guard. Anchorman at right tackle. Jones runs to the right and has another big hole. 7-7. Seven, seven. Keep to leave. Andrew Siciliano. Kurt Sandoval down at the sideline. Here is Perkins to throw. Atwell. Screen. Jones. Flag. Jones gets it up. Rams 0 for 4 on third down. This is third and long, third and 22. They need to get to the Raider 35. And they'll keep it on the ground. They will just run 
And Funk's going to get a lot of it back. He's going to push his way. Fourth and eight. Funk in the backfield. Bryce Perkins fires over the middle. Caught. First down. Perkins. Akers. Here comes the screen. Not going to be enough. And here is Matt Gay. Kicker. Punter. Man of many hats tonight. He gives the... Nathan Peterman, second and seven from the 28. Peterman steps up, throws on the run, wasn't over the line of scrimmage, gets it complete. Out. Perkins out of the gun, throws to the outside, and another catch. And with all of that, it's second and 20. Perkins stands on his 20, now steps up. Points out some blockers, pump fake. Perkins. Back to the original. A lot of stops and starts with injuries and flags. Here comes the rush. Perkins can't get out of this one. Jalen Ramsey there watching behind Raheem Morris. Look at Ernest Brown, the rookie, wearing number 90. He's had a good game as well. But there's Lewis who gets free on the crosser. And he gets a Christian Roseboom checks into the game as well. You see his long hair and middle linebacker. Play fake. Good night, Nathan Peterman. Brought down. Tell me how flattering it is that an incomplete pass against you <laughs> will make that many headlines, man. Hey, it's crazy, ain't it? Uh, you, you you knew what that was about back, uh, back when you was playing, you know what I mean? So, it, uh... You know, he got loose there. And as you said, not everyone in the media knows the difference between his own and man. As Nathan Peterman now goes around the right end, and he gets knocked out of bounds. So... We missed a lot there, but it was worth the conversation, certainly. The interception by Hobbs. Rams try to deep. Peterman with a good old-fashioned eye with Regis. And a play fake. And a throw to Groshek, the fullback, the upback. Raiders need to get to the Rams' seven. Short drop. Knockdown. Roseboom again. All right, here's Daniel Carlson to tie the game. We are 10-10. Perkins here in the shotgun on second and nine. Perkins complete. Akers out of a tackle. And then how about this? He has been stocking shelves at a grocery store. And now he's trying to write his NFL story. Perkins on the run. Look at that gas. And it's one of eight on third down. Let's see if they can convert here on a third and nine. It's complete. Atwell tunnel. Um, we're really just working on our technique, working on our communication, being able to anticipate when that ball is coming, like you said. You guys have an incredibly deep. This, uh, very deep in our receiver room. In the NFL offseason, they allow players to switch numbers. And Jalen. You betcha. Hey, guys, he said uh, he misses playing in front of fans, but he doesn't miss preseason. <laughs> Played in front of fans at Sarah, at SC, and now here with the Rams first at the Coliseum. Bryce Perkins, 17 to 26. Third and 13. Plenty of time. Again, it's a screen again from 40 and beyond. With Wartell as the holder, that one's blocked. Looks across the line to Nathan Peterman, the quarterback who has gone the entire day tonight for John Gruden. Peterman avoids the sack and then just flips it to his back. That is Trey Regis. Regis! Second and six, Peterman again. Out of the shotgun. Here comes Gervas, and here goes Peterman down the sideline. That's a touchdown, Marcel Aitman. Man. He wants to know that he could be confident and comfortable come regular season time. Perkins, clean pocket, finds Landon Akers. Nakoski and Akers line up side by side on the left. Rams go three wide. Hopkins in there as a tight end as well. A little bit of a play fake, a bit of completion, and another first down. They like to work these tight ends outside in this empty package. Perkins again works back to the left. Keep an eye on him. Perkins, Koski, complete. Now you got to be careful if you run the ball. Most likely going to be a pass here. Perkins to throw. Perkins to the corner. Touchdown! Jacob Harris!
for the lead. Perkins, Harris, can't get it. It's already down as an NFC West, AFC West thing next year in 2022. Peterman takes it in, and that'll do it. Rams lose. Oh, so close, though.